Hello everyone, my name is Ken May, and today in Fire Emblem Heroes, we are here to celebrate New Year's! Hey, Happy New Year everyone! So, this time around, for 2023, the year of the rabbit, we do have one rabbit on the banner, but we mostly have beasts overall, and let me just say, this banner, I want everyone. I want everyone, I want multiple copies of everyone, uh, I... <laughs> Honestly, like, Oscar and Embla are just perfect together. I haven't read the conversation, the dialogue, their audio dialogue, but I did play the paralogue and they were adorable. I want them. A lot of them. I I, I haven't even checked, like, let me check something. Oh my god, is that going to be so annoying in Arena? So yeah, <laughs> uh, Ash is adorable. I want to cuddle her. I want to give her all the sweets, all the, all the goodness. Uh, actually, I think I want more pans than I want elms, just because uh, pan's father is actually really good. You know, you know the thank I is for giving us, starting giving us the conflict tier 3 skill, we might expect also the tier 3 of uh, a few other skills, like ideal soonish. And uh, really, she has wonderful father overall, and I think slightly more than I would want from Elm. I think I would want Elm's B skill for <laughs> none other than uh, yarn, regular yarn, but let's not make it too wasteful and just hope for everyone. As you may notice, I have 7 tickets, I also have 12 tickets for this banner, so we're going to start with this one, and um, basically, basically I think I will go for only 3 summons on this one. We'll have to talk about this banner, because it is pretty interesting about the future of New Year's banner, I think. We're, we're going to speculate, but I think it, it holds. A lot of interesting potential, but uh, the main focus is that, and let's see if the new year has already rung and uh, giving me a bit of luck. All right, so I guess we can talk about, well, you know, this is new year, resolutions, things like that. Um, I think for my part, I mainly want to focus on developing what I've the the few the few things I've managed to actually start in 2022 like um even though I started it in 2021 I want to come back to the Kensplendence oh and by the way I am ending the poll <laughs> it's been running for two months now I think but I'm ending the poll and I am Surprised, but happy to tell you that the two first characters to get the Kensplendent are going to be, in order, Ray and Bartray. So yeah, I will try to have at least one per month, and uh, maybe I can go up to two per month. Uh, I will see if I eventually go up on a Patreon. The things are going to be... As I said, I'm going to be developing things, so there's still a lot of work to do on that, on that front. But I think you can expect Array and Battery to be done uh, by the end of February, at, la uh, at last, at least. One other thing I thought, since, you know, we, we, we... Uh, we have eight realms, I haven't included... Um, Vanaheimer yet, nor did I have Emir. I think I have to, just to to basically tell you, I have some backup because by the time I get to the few characters I uh, I have in the list, maybe you know the third in line is going to be Nidavelli Lisa, and uh, maybe uh, by the time like if we go with the worst timeline. It goes up on March, and that would that would mean five five more resplendents, even six, are announced, and maybe Lisa is among them. 
So, I do have a few backups for characters, so don't worry. Normally, Ray and Bot Ray are going to be done, and I'm so excited to do them. Um, one other thing... <laughs> no, I... Uh, Maybe one day I'll talk about it in details, the, the results of the polls, but it was quite interesting. I think I need to reword things how I did them, because uh, sometimes there were some, let's say, interesting takes. Hello, Lind! D just to give you an idea, uh, in the poll I let some space for suggestions of characters to do, and uh, someone asked for Soren, and I was like, um... Uh, have you have you have you seen the, the the whole series? All right, a plus lean plus Linda, <laughs> a plus lean speed. <laughs> All right. Um. So yeah, Consplendent's coming back, uh, developing my illustrator side, and I think I'm going to push on the on the voice actress side of things. I've been working last year with uh, Karem and, uh, and the team for uh, in the art department, in the voice acting department, and I might be working on, uh, on something with them again. But um, it was a real pleasure, it was really interesting, and it has pushed me to think that, of course, I am far from being a voice actress. I mean, uh, you know, they are paid for the job. They must do a really good one, but I think, I think there is something I can do on that, on that part. And uh, I've, you know, I've sent a few messages here and there, and I've tried a few things here and there. So they might not come to fruition. We get a pan, a vice fire pan. All right. She's called Palm. It's interesting. It's interesting. I wonder why in French she's called Palm. Ooh, plus attack. I don't know if it's, it's a super moon, uh, but uh, I'll gladly take it. And as usual, we've. Uh, it's interesting because each time we've been got, we've gotten a new, a new beast. You know, for example, hello, do I? For example, we've gotten uh, Selkie and. And Kate, the the thing that makes me think about that is, you know, uh, for example, Caden and uh, Valoria here as you know, their original form are green and uh, colorless, and their uh, alts are red and blue. We've seen these patterns many times. This time again, we have it with uh, Pawn and uh, her son, and uh, and that, I I find it quite funny, to be honest. Uh, where was I? Resolutions! <laughs> uh, dim dim dim. So I talked about art, I talked about illustration, we got another. Oh, no, five star Paul, alright! I'm sorry if I pronounce our Paul. Uh, I think they. I think it's getting under me. Plus res, okay, I don't think. The more father, the more I'm ha the happier I am, right? Um, it's also interesting that the conflict or clash. Oh, I don't remember. Okay, if conflict is the French word, I mean, it means it's clash. Because uh, I know I've made that mistake a few times. Yip, yip, yip. Yeah, it's uh, it's clash. Sorry about that. But uh, the clash killer, it's interesting that it is on uh, the 4-star version uh, instead of the 5-star version. If you know what I mean, of course, with demotes. But uh, I'm all the happier because uh, that means... Uh, we can get a lot of useful fodder without having to up their potential. So, back on resolutions, I think, at a, on a more personal level, <laughs> uh, uh, the mic must have picked up my uh, my boyfriend here. Let's just uh, let's just say hi to my boyfriend. Uh, he's been, I think, he's been. A wonderful support in everything that I've done and I'm so thankful to have him in my life and I hope I hope I wish I just think I'm going to work towards you know building more meaningful relationships I think I've, I'm the thing is 
I am leaning too much on a few peoples, and it's, you know, it's easier, of course, to just have to deal with uh, a few things. Well, I guess it depends on people. I, it, I feel it's easier for me, but I think... I think 2023 should be the time I try to to be a bit more outward and to use the time I try to get for myself. Because basically the problem with me is I, I try to get as much time for myself as I want and uh, oh no, if I, if I go see people, oh, is this a fated three star circle? Same place, you ticker! Bless the circle! Okay. I, I, I feel, uh... I feel bad now. <laughs> but yeah, uh... The thing is, by trying to get as much time for myself as I can, and not using it for anything... Oh, same circle. I feel like I... Basically, I'm wasting my time. And this is, you know, this is quite the paradox, right? Oh, Silica! Well, hello, but you're not exactly the... You're not exactly the colorless tome infantry I was waiting for. Oh, dearest. Well, I guess I guess I do have some luck, right? It's the, it's the fourth five-star on, uh, on this session, so I'm grateful. Let's be grateful on this year. But yeah, I think the paradox of wanting to have as much free time for myself and just, you know, knowing I have the free time and not using it to do anything either meaningful or productive. Not everything has to be productive, of course, but, you know, at a certain point, it is wasteful to just have so much time and not make anything of it. In the in, at the end of the day, I think I this year needs to be the year of balance and responsibilities for me, and I hope I manage to do that. And I think um, I think the game hasn't understand that we are not in 2022. We have to you know turn the page of the year. All right, no, I'm not going to be that mad because uh, I actually do really like Louise, and you know. She has some really, really sweet father. Like, especially the Oath and the Four, uh... And it's here for Oath. Louise is really one of the characters I really don't mind being pity broken by. So, yeah. Mm, I think I've... <laughs> I think I've finished on uh, my, uh... On my little lies, on my little, uh... My little speech on uh, New Year's resolutions. Oh, ooh, ooh, pretty interesting circle. One thing, uh, I'm going to talk about the characters. Maybe that will entice them to come. The, um, I've done my three tries for Tempest Try today. And it dawned to me that Ask Her needs a duo with, uh, I was going to say either- Oh, yes! Are you talking about my father? <laughs> Sorry, I, w I was trying to, maybe not imitate, but trying to impersonate Ash. Lily Amers does such a good job on, uh, on Ash. I want to cuddle her. Oh. I, something I actually need to do now is a little... Ooh, plus speed. I don't think that's good on her, but I welcome you with open arm. She's taken on a, a lot of her father's, uh, a lot of her father's, uh, you know, skills. Her father's skills. And she's just adorable! I'm going to check, but I think th those are really bad uh, IVs. And this is where, yeah, Lilia Mills Lammer, sorry, I butchered your name. I hope you don't mind. I, I, I have to make a little fan art of Ash. Hmm. I, I, the thing is, I think I need... I think my luck is, my luck is back. <laughs> yes, back to back. 
plus defense. Oh, yes. Um, what I was talking about beforehand, before Ash came, is that Asker needs a duo with either, well, I think he won't be able to have one with Chrom because uh, both of them have already a... Uh, they're already the lead of a duo, so that might not happen, but I think a Lucina and Asker or Robin and Asker duo would be really interesting just because um, basically this version of Asker is about bonds. Bonds makes them strength, uh, stronger. <laughs> Strengther. <laughs> Bonds makes them stronger, and uh, I really have, I really found that in the Tempest Try. Like, if uh, if Asker is around uh, other characters, you can draw all you want. You can't bring them down, and uh, I think this is especially more in more true, truer on this version of Asker. And hi, Kiragi! How are you doing? I think this is the second time I've got one. Hmm. I don't know if I should build him. But he does have some good fodder. Right. Alright. So, we are pretty close. Well, actually. Hmm. Elm. Do you want to come? Okay, we have one chance at Elm. I'll be honest. I don't know if I'm going to go for Elm for the spark. Uh, okay, this is going to sound bad, but we do have the pack for, um, we do have the New Year's pack, and I think I might take it and just take a merge on Asker, unless, of course, they want to come right now. No, this is the Felicia. Or unless, you know, Anne wants to come right now. But yeah, this has been a really good session. I'm really happy. We've gotten a lot of good units. And uh, technically, it's not over yet because we do have a few, a few three summons to do. But nope, we are not going to get uh, the the nice little elm here, who looks like a baby. Like we, I remember when uh, Resplendent Elm came around, people were complaining about the fact that he looks, he looked like a baby. Have you seen Elm now? <laughs> well, he doesn't look like a baby, but yeah. Uh, he does look way more cuter. I don't know what to think about it. But uh, I'm really happy that everyone is here. It, I think it could have been nice to have a Lizitia ult, but honestly, I don't mind that much. Uh, because I think, I think she has chances to get some ults in the future. Um, okay, my... My reasoning is really hard here, because... Let me check something. Because... I could really use that skill. And in both cases, they're going to be... You know, they're going to be, um... To be neutral. But... Do I really need that skill? Because, um... It removes the condition of, uh, you know having to be transformed having to be alone or close to dragons or beasts to be transformed and how many of my units needs that i must be honest i think even though that what that would mean i would have to pay to get elm i think i'm going to make the non-completionist choice to get the duo and i haven't checked wait uh, no i can't wait uh yeah that's what i thought okay uh lily hash i need to check something oh i think uh i think her ivs were really bad okay be careful not to confirm we are going to take asker because i just want i, I just love them so much they're definitely going to be a merch project i don't know I do have way too many merch projects right now, so I think I'm going to mainly wait for the next, uh, for, you know, when they will appear in a few months. <sighs> they're really, they're really great together, they're really cute, they're go well. Embla is gorgeous, I really ho love how she's portrayed here. Uh, well, Asker is, um, uh, 
is a treat as usual, but I do enjoy seeing them together. I'm not going to say anything about the conversation as I haven't heard it and I don't want this video to be too long. I know it's going to be pretty long already. So what I'm going to do is switch right away to this banner and we'll have... We do have a, a lot of orbs yet, but I think uh, priority-wise for this banner, we're going to have green because green is absolutely bonkers on this banner. You either go with one of the best duos or one of the best dancers, which happens to be a duo as well. You can't go wrong with green this time. I think next, next is actually going to be colorless because Plumeria, I think, might be a merch project. I'm not really sure, but I would really love to have more of her, especially because uh, Puny and Plumeria are pretty difficult to get. You know what I mean. Uh, huge shout out to Swiftsy. I hope this year you get a bit more uh, Plumeria if you go after her. But this time around, uh, Plumeria shares with Liar. And even though you're more, you're more likely to get Liars, at least the father is really good. And I will not be I will not be satiated with uh, Liar's father. And then I guess um, I guess uh, we'll go with either blue or red really i don't really mind because the both of them are really good have very really good skills and yeah we can dip right into it i'm mainly going to do yeah I'm, what i'm going to do i'm not going to do full circles i'm just going to take the free summons here and get out maybe if by the end of the session i do have a few orbs i'll try for something i don't know we get a sword <laughs> Hi, Soren! Um, might be the year he gets a resplendence. I don't know. I don't need to make a separation. Like, usually when I do that, because uh, something I don't know... How, I don't know if I've, I've talked about it, but what I do uh, is usually I... Well, I record my sessions, of course, but I actually write down every character I get with the rarity... I don't, uh, thankfully, I do not uh, record where I pull them, but I record, uh, I, uh, I write down their IVs, I write down the date I summon them on, I write down the banner I summon them on, and uh, the number overall. I, I, ooh, ah, yes! Letitia wanted to come! Yay! I'm really happy because. Actually, uh, Letitia is still on merch for me, and ooh, that's a really good one. I don't know which IVs is mine. If I recall correctly, mine is really bad IVs. Look, I thought you were going to only go with the free summons. I'm going to go with the greens and colorless. <laughs> I, I know I switched my mind really quickly, but I just want... I'm not going to do too much, especially because uh, with uh, seven, 67 orbs, I don't think I will have nearly enough. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, now that I have started to take that path, the game, of course, is going to give me all the greens and colorlesses, right? <laughs> what I'm going to do is I will summon on colorless if I get something on green. Because I think with the many more uh, tickets I have, there are going to be times where I won't have some greens. But yeah, this banner... I wanted to talk a bit about the banner and the fact that this time around, they have put together Year 4 and Year 5 as the Omega banner, which is really nice for me because I want to have some merges on uh, uh, New Year Alphonse and this is going to be way more easy now that uh, it's not sharing with Veloria. But what I think is interesting is they might go with um, this trend of mixing the current year minus two with current year minus one banners together. Sorry, and you're making my game lag. What is, what is it with that? So basically right now we are on the year six of news. So we have year five and year four, if you follow me. And 
I think this can be pretty interesting on when, on, you know, preparing on when you're going to summon on the on banners because, for, for example, right now this banner is bonkers because look at the green. We, we talked about it right before getting into the session, but green is really, really strong this time around. You, you cannot go wrong. Well, of course you can go wrong because if you, if you already have a plus 10 puny, you're not going to like getting some punies. If you have already a plus 10 dagger, you're not going to like getting more daggers. But for someone who hasn't plus 10 any of them, it is going to be a really strong banner. Uh, if uh, if they actually want to come. <laughs> All right, how many tickets do we have left? Oh, we still have sevens. Dear God, but it is a really nice celebration, I think. Giving. Um, I wonder if I would have wanted more tickets on the other banner, but you know, at the same time, we got a dagger. <laughs> All right. I'm really more here for puny because uh. Be because uh, I was extremely lucky mm, plus uh, plus attack I was extremely lucky uh, when uh, dagger came back I think it was on the same manner as uh, dual chrome as well I was really lucky and managed to get them to plus 10 over the time of their running so yeah I didn't uh, I didn't want some more daggers but it's still a really good unit. And I will take mer well, I won't take mergers, but I will gladly take uh, more, even though they did bother. I think, uh, yeah, neither peonies or daggers uh, fodder is really that interesting. But y y you can... The thing is, I don't know if I want to use uh, do a dagger again in uh, in game modes like Arena or or either raid. Because uh, of course you make you can make some pretty pretty horrible combos with multiple daggers, so I'll have to look at that because I don't want to be the cancer I hate. <laughs> I hate facing that thing uh, in a in arena like uh, having so many so many pathfinder units. All right, we're close to the end, so I need to check how many orbs I have, but I might summon on a bit more than just the green or the free summon, I don't know. We'll have to see. But honestly, this session was a wonderful session. Oh, be right back. And we're back. So I was always saying uh, this has been a wonderful session. I just hope that... Uh, well, actually, getting cut like that is just that uh, I don't really remember where I was going. But I think... I think... I'm just hopeful for this year. There has been... There, I'm going to be honest, 2022 has been an interesting year. There have been... There have been... There has been... There have been... A lot of ups and a lot of downs. A lot of um, a lot of successes, a lot of things that threw me back a bit on on uh, on certain on certain path, on certain occasions. There were some missed occasions, but there were also some really good things that give me a lot of hope for this year, and I just can't wait to see what's going to happen during this year. Either, of course, in the game, and... Or... Either or, sorry. Either in the game, or... Basically in real life. Strengthening all my... Friendships? Yeah, all my friendships. Why am I using dating like that? Strengthening relationships. Strengthening... Myself. And... My health. And things like that. You know <laughs> all right so uh we're going to end i think this is the last ticket right we are going to do the full cycle for i would have gladly taken a you no know, you know a, a, how do you call that color again between red and blue 
I think it's Karen, right? <laughs> Salina Greens, I already got someone apparently, so I'm just going to take anything that comes in this cycle. Um, and we'll end the video on this one. Is this going to be only a three-star circle? <laughs> it might happen, and uh, if it is, then I will maybe not gladly take it, but I will take it with, with a smile, I think. Because, uh, you know... Caden is still nice. <laughs> I had no conclusion to where I was going, so thank you, Caden, for saving the day. Uh, I won't have to summon any. Well, I, I guess I could try to summon more on the banner on my own, but honestly, if uh, duo heroes, like you know, special du double special heroes banner, are any other indication. Uh, trying to go for one unit is only going to get me to some kind of despair. <laughs> so I'll just end with a Florina. All right. Well, look at look at that wonderful catch. So, yep, this is going to be the end for this session. I want to thank you all for the wonderful year of 2022 and just let's get ready to hop into 2023. Let's hope it has some lots of good waiting for us and let's be ready to brace ourselves for the bad. And again, until next time, take good care of yourselves everyone. <laughs>